back again with JavaScript algos and data structures in basic JavaScript on challenge 17 of 113. We're going to create decimal numbers with JavaScript. You can store decimal numbers. They're sometimes referred to as floating point numbers or floats. That's what you'll most commonly see as floats. Uh, so when you compute these numbers, they are computed with, computed with finite precision. Uh, operations using floats may lead to different results than the desired outcome. If you're getting one of the, these results, open a topic on the forum, essentially. So we're going to create a variable called my decimal, and we're going to give it the decimal value with a fractional part. Example, 5.7. So my decimal should be a number. It should have a decimal point. So below the sign. Okay, so we're going to create one. We can say const, we can use const, we can use let, I don't think it really matters in this uh, example. Say my decimal equals 4.20. Let's see if that works. And that's it. That's all we had to do for this one. Um, it is not a integer, just a standard integer because it has the decimal points. But really, I'm pretty sure we could, we could say let in this case too. It would work. So yeah, no problem. It's an easy one. Uh, on to the next.